Hey there, welcome to another Q&A video. First of all, thanks everyone who watched my previous Q&A video about the brushes and the brush care. Got some really positive feedback. So uh, that really encouraged me to do more Q&A videos. Um, I want to be informative, I want to share my knowledge with you guys. I don't have any secrets to keep or something, so by all means keep the questions coming. Um, I have to share everything I know with you. Um, in this video I want to answer two questions. Uh, the first one is uh, I read in the comment section uh, on the video about the last 10 months in painting, uh, the time I was away in YouTube, on YouTube. Um, so in the video I listed all the, the achievements and uh, the figures I painted during that period and one of the figures I painted was the Han Solo figure by uh, Night Models. Also got some very positive feedback about that and yes there will be a showcase video coming very soon. Um, and the user called Armored Brush asked a question, he wrote down the following, fantastic work, where can I get a base like that Han Solo one? Is there an online shop where you can get it from? Again, great work. Armored Brush, thank you for the kind words. Uh, also checked out your channel, some good uh, videos on there, looking forward to seeing more of your stuff. Um, uh, it's not entirely clear to me what, what you're asking about. Um, are, you, are you asking about the, the display plint or, or the base itself or do you think it's, it's, a, it's a hole? Um, so yeah, the display plint itself uh, is a resin cast uh, plint by Plint Country. It's a uh, Polish based um, online store which sells resin and uh, wooden display prints, especially for uh, for figures. Um, I think it's plintcountry.com, I'll put it in the, in the description. Um, the store is owned by Demi Morgana, it's a member from uh, the Chest of Colors team also. So if you have any questions about the products, you can ask me. Uh, I can get in touch with the guy, very friendly, friendly chap. Um, or you can contact him directly through the store. Um, so yeah, that's that's a, do you buy the plint? Uh, oh, the check. Maybe I have one out oh, here. There's another one. So if you buy it, it looks like this. Just resin plint. Um, yeah, you can just spray paint this black and put your miniature on top, or you can put some basing on top, like I did with the, with the hand solo. Um, what I did was basically do two layers of cork, then put. Um, the material you see on top, it's like the textured metal, it's from, uh, um, from how do you call it, uh, from magic medication. Uh, if you have the pills, in the middle of the pills there was a large area where uh, this textured me metal was. Um, so yeah, that's where I got uh, the material, I use it a lot. Also put in, uh, yeah, I'll show you in the, in the showcase video, you'll see it better, um, the plastic tube in it. Um, then put put some uh, sand, glue down some sand, some grass, etc. So that's the, the base of the hand solo. I hope this answered your question. Uh, so plintcountry.com, I think, I'll put it in the description for all your plints. Um, I'll do a separate video about plints, I think, because there's a lot of more to tell about, a lot of other manufacturers, but um, this particular one is from Plint Country. Okay, let me check. A second question. Uh, this was on the Chaos Sorcerer video uh, where I showcased the Chaos Sorcerer more like a test video. Um, but yeah, uh, one question here about uh, asked by Clawhammer 666. Um, he asked a question about the pigments I was used. So in the, in the video, you saw me applying some pigments on the base. Um, he asked me how, how, how do I fix the pigments on the, on the figure. Um, now I don't do that because uh, my figures are for showcase purposes only. I don't use them for gaming. So I don't think it's necessary to, uh, to fix the pigments in place. So I don't have that much experience um, with fixing pigments. I have not none actually. Uh, but I, recently I uh, was involved in some discussions, uh, read some information about that, which can help you. Um, first of all, there was an article on the from the Warp blog um, talking about uh, fixing pigments with with varnish. 
So the title of the article is The Effects of Varnish on Weathering Powders and they really do a side-by-side -side comparison about uh, with the um, the unvarnished uh, powders and the varnished ones and yeah there is some difference uh, a lot of subtle coloring differences are, uh, are lost with uh, with varnishing but if you're going to use the figures for base uh, for playing uh, I think it's real necessary to seal them with uh, with varnish because the pigments yeah just a powder which which you put on the miniature if you touch it, it won't go off that easily but if you touch it 10 20 times yeah it will rub off over time um, another thing that's uh, in the article is that you can touch it with, uh, with some kind of alcohol to fix it in place but that won't keep you from rubbing it off so they I think they say here you first you treat with alcohol and then have to put on the, the varnish or only the varnish I'll put a link in the description check it out um, and then there recently there was a discussion on uh, on the WAM forum about the subject though I think that's a very useful thread also going to put it in the comment section uh, in the description check it out also uh, you'll see me uh, answering the question also um, I think it's the fifth or uh, answer number seven it's mine uh, there's a link to uh, to a pigment fixer so basically it's a product probably some kind of alcohol uh, which you can also use to fix a pigment in place um, the store which sells it is, is a German store called PK Pro um, just check out the thread reply number 7 that's mine but the, the rest of the thread also contains a lot of useful information um, so that's it for this Q&A video by all means I repeat it keep the questions coming I'm happy to answer them um, right now I have my digital camera here I'm going to do some uh, some filming on the desk uh, desktop update. I'm also going to briefly show you the the Han Solo figure with uh, with some better lighting conditions. Uh, so if you want to see a detailed shot of him, uh, I'll upload the the video in, I think in an hour after this one. Um, I'll show you what else I'm working on, but that's for a for another video. And the separate showcase video for Han Solo is still in the works so okay thanks again everybody for watching happy painting see you next time